How's your weekend been? Oh, it's been fine. Uh, I actually flew from Newfoundland to Edmonton without any delays, which was a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't check any bags. I've, I've learned my lesson. I'm not going to yeah. check anything. You can take a backpack and a carry-on and my guitar, and I don't have to check any of them. Nice. You also have had a very busy year, too. You signed with a new management. You made a new distribution deal. You performed during Canadian Music Week. You're a presenter at the CMA Ontario Awards, and you've been touring, and you released a new album titled Time Traveler Side A. It feels great. Oh, it's so nice to be back out to actually see people again and be in a setting where people are recommending masks, but yeah. like nobody wears masks normally, which is no good and bad because, I mean, I did catch COVID a few weeks ago, actually, and I missed the show because of it, but it was very mild. It's really nice to be back and somewhat normal with this album time traveler side a i gave it a listen and i really liked it oh, um, thank you i was kind of bummed when i saw that it didn't quite make it for the ccma nominations that came out yeah well i mean the competition this year was crazy stomp and tom had an album that was nominated so <laughs> <laughs> so i mean if i lost it to stomp and tom i don't mind at all i mean i'm going to be going to ccmas in calgary in september and and i've got a couple things that that's not announced yet that i'm going to be announcing taking part in in the events and stuff like that. So we'll, uh, it's going to be fun. I can't wait. Good. I'm glad you're not letting it get you down. Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> if you had to let every little setback get you down in this industry, like you would never be happy because it's really tough. It's a <laughs> yeah, Everybody's out performing right now too. It's like Budweiser stage here in Toronto. There's been a, a show, I feel like every single night all summer because yeah. everybody's on tour. Yeah, exactly. Fans pockets are only so deep how can they afford to go to every show like it's, it's so tough i mean you have the diehard fans are going to come out to see you but if there's a festival or god knows who coming through like the week before the chances of somebody coming into your show now aren't as good as they used to be so with time traveler was a lot of it written in the past couple of years or is it some things that you've held on to for a while in the last couple of years it was actually 12 songs all together we split it into two so there's side a and side b so the majority of the songs were written in the last couple of years we didn't write these songs thinking that they were going to be released we just wrote them for fun there was just so much going on it was depressing to tell the truth we just wanted to do something that made us feel good so we sat around and we have a few drinks and then at the end we realized that we had a, a library <laughs> of songs <laughs> and there's still a bunch of songs actually that we didn't record so we're like don't we take a chance and release them because at the time my manager and my label were the same person and because of covid and because of everything going on he decided to step away and we mutually parted ways so at that point i mean i didn't have a, a label or a or management so i was like you know what let's just do something for fun take these songs that we love and i mean i, I truly love these songs and i've never listened to my own songs but these songs i can actually listen to and enjoy them myself, which is rare for me. We partnered together, myself and uh, and Jerry, who who helped co-write the, the songs, and we got the album produced. We didn't release it right away, and then we're like, okay, well, we thought it sounded great, so, so let's reach out to some people and see who'd be interested in distributing the album. And that started with CCMA's 2021, where I actually met my current management company, Johnson Talent Management. And then after that, we approached a couple of labels to see if anyone would be interested in, in distributing it. And J-Word Artist Group jumped on board. It's almost like, you know, that feel the dreams. If you build it, they will come kind of a thing. Yeah, that's great. Especially, like I said, during the pandemic, when, you know, everybody was kind of feeling low, especially artists who's not an essential worker. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, totally. It's a lot of uncertainties. So to yeah. come out of that and... You know, you put out something and you've got this new direction now. It's got to feel really good. I'm happy for you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I think if anything, it just set a new benchmark on the kind of music I want to release. So not to say that the production is going to stay exactly the same, but I think just the writing and where it comes from, it's definitely going to change moving forward. A little more down home feeling and a little more heart in the songs. You know, like back in the day, they used to have a lot more storytelling and stuff like that, right? Your current single, Shoot Me Down. I like how it's a play on being like turned down by a woman at a bar. What inspired that song to come from you? It was actually released and, and written in 1980 by a Canadian country singer, Juno Award winner, CCMA Hall of Famer, Eddie Eastman. And it was called Lift Me Up, Let Me Down. I met him a couple of times. He's actually from Newfoundland. I knew of the song and I thought, what a cool opportunity to put something on there 
from the music that I grew up hearing when I was a kid. And so I reached out to Eddie. I'm like, hey, would you mind if I took a crack at rearranging it a little bit and rewriting to make it my own just to and to make it a little more modern? Because it is definitely different from mm-hmm. the original. And he was like, yeah, give it a shot. So I sent him the demo. And he thought it was great. He said, I let my wife hear it. She loved it too. That's a good thing. (laughs) (laughs) He was on board and ended up being one of the singles. How did the two of you initially connect? We met at CCMA back in 2016 and we got to chat. And because of the connection where we're both from Newfoundland and and that's basically how that all came about. What was it particularly about that song? It just hit me like you just kind of run with something when it comes to you, right? It's funny because there's so many songs that I heard growing up and listened to and just all lined up for that one for some reason, especially the chorus as I rewrote a lot of I just thought it felt you know real fresh and and a lot of fun and still had that old vibe but a little bit of a new vibe yeah the way you put your own spin on it definitely makes it fit in quite nicely with the other songs it's definitely a feel-good album thank you yeah can't wait for you to hear side b because they really all go together and I think once side b is released digitally we're gonna put two of them together and release it physically yeah is it finished completely side a and b were done at the same time and I'm not sure if a lot of listeners realize it but when you release a song or a whole album to all the streaming platforms once the songs are all out they can't be counted as a new release in the future so even though if you pick one of the songs off the album and put it to radio it's new to radio but it doesn't get added on any new music playlists or anything like that so it's kind of a new thing that artists have to do now is kind of strategize to make it so that your singles actually go to the playlist at the right time right so that's why we decided to split the album up and plus just gives you a little more to play with over a little more longer period of time rather than put them all out at once i felt like we picked all the songs there was no fillers like i really love all the songs each one for me felt like they were great so putting them into the album i think it gives fans more time to digest the songs on side a first before we release the songs off of side b is there any plans to shoot some more music videos yeah oh definitely yeah we actually have uh, another one done so it's just a matter of releasing the single and once that's done we're gonna be releasing that one well congratulations on another album release very excited for you had a great year and looking forward to running into you in Calgary. 100%. We'll see you then.